All right, so we're at the end of the day now here for Adrenaline. I'm joined by our support player, Ido, a.k.a. Daniel in real life. So, Daniel, it's been a long day for the League of Legends team. Uh, specifically, not just because it was a long day for everyone, but for you guys specifically, the tournament started two hours later. So, how, was, how, how did the team adjust to that? Well, like, when you have to wait for an extra, like, two hours for any tournament or anything, honestly, uh, I kind of, like wears down your like your mind or like your just like your eyes like sitting in general because like this is a very like dark uh, environment and there's not a lot of a light and there's lots of like um loud sounds going on so it kind of just like distracts you kind of deteriorates you slowly but um yeah i th like i think the team performed uh, really fairly well under the like us having to wait an extra two hours because we weren't coming off like fresh per se so from what I heard, you're not actually on the A team, you're on the B team, but you were subbing in. So how is it integrating uh, with this team? Did you get a lot of practice in with them beforehand? Um, I would say I got um, a little bit of practice in. I didn't get as much practice as I would have liked, per se. But I mean, it's also like, like uh, just not enough time as well, because I wasn't sure if I was going to even participate in this tournament or sub for the team anyways. But uh, I believe that, like, from how much we did practice, we performed fairly well, and sure, there could have been things that we could have improved, but uh, I think in any game you could improve, there's always something you can improve. Oh yeah, so speaking of things to improve, so what did you guys think could have gone better? Like, when we look at uh, the two losses, I think the first loss was a little more one-sided, but the second loss was actually really hard fought. Uh, there were some really close team fights. So, uh, you can talk about any game you want, but at what point did you think that there was like a huge turning point? Or is there any one specific moment that sticks out in your mind where after that happened, you thought, ooh, like we're, we're really behind now? Um, to be quite honest, um, when I play, it's, uh, I always believe that you always have a chance of coming back because there's always, there is always a chance. There's always a, like a slim mistake that there's like a human error of someone is making a mistake. But um, I believe in the second game, I would have to watch it over, but um, I think there were some plays, like some plays for like both the second and third game that had we had more practice and more communication like and more like trust, because like, that's a big part of it is having trust in one another and confidence that the person is going to be able to, com uh, to follow up that play or that you trust that person to do what they say they're going to do. But because we hadn't practiced as much, and like like I said, like I had subbed on to the team, uh, it, it was you know it's always that like do I really like have confidence in going in? So it's always the um, second guessing, yeah. And I guess that also kind of falls under you know subbing in for the team that you don't normally play with. Uh, and lastly, I'm just going to talk about just the game in general. So the new champion Senna came out, and she's this 80 carry support hybrid. So. How do you feel about Senna in general and how her presence affects the bot lane dynamic? Um, I'll firstly say I haven't had the opportunity to play against Senna very much because whenever I play against whenever I'm playing solo queue it's always banned. However, seeing it the, like seeing how it's played, it is a super versatile champion as obviously can play uh, ADC or support and its mechanics are like very like they're very game changing. So to have to adjust to the to like how it's a new playstyle and like how it just affects the whole map and the like entirety of the game while also scaling and being able to switch um, playstyles like on like on the fly uh, it makes it like a very hard champion to go against. And actually, one last question. So I w I haven't been following League as closely as I used to, but I learned today that the entire bot lane looks different now. Like both the both the side lanes have that little extra area. Uh, what do you think of those changes? Honestly, I believe that they're really good changes because um, in, com in competitive play or solo queue, uh, if the bot laners or like a team are able to play around those the changes like the changes to the bot lane or the top lane, you're able to stall out a gank or like a one v one by fighting in that little like, corridor and then having your team if you communicate it well or. Um, just execute it well enough, you can uh, make a counter engage or, or just stall it out for long enough for another, something else to be taken. All right, that's awesome. Well, thank you again very much. I know, um, I know you and the rest of the league team were tired. You know, you're, you're the only one here who wanted to do this. So. so, yeah, thanks again so much. And, you know, luckily for us, we're at an event sponsored by Red Bull. So there's, there's a lot of Red Bull everywhere. I've been, I've been all Red Bulled up today. So, all right. Thank you again very much.